we have a mass on which a force applies that is of the form of y dot i cap minus x dot j cap times a and initially the condition is given that the at t is equal to zero particle is at origin and it has a velocity v naught in y direction we need to find x and y as a function of time and the equation of trajectory so because forces are given separately in x and y direction let's analyze the motion also separately in x and y direction so fx so we'll write f is equal to ma so force that is given is a y dot is equal to ma and similarly in y direction force is minus a x dot is equal to m y double dot now you can see in this equation of x double dot we have a term of y dot and in this equation of y double dot we have a term of x dot so we have two variables here two variables here so of course we want an equation where we have a single variable so you can imagine if we integrate this we'll get a term of x dot and then we can substitute it here so that x dot will get in terms of y so we can do that substitution or conversely you can integrate this equation so you will get m y dot is equal to minus a x plus c so then y dot you can replace from here to here so why do we integrate this and not this because you can see so when you integrate this equation you will get m y dot is equal to minus a x plus c and when x is equal to zero so y dot is still v naught so you will get a value of constant so then that substitution will be a bit trickier but here when we integrate we simply get mx dot is equal to ay plus c and we know when y is equal to zero then x dot is also zero so c becomes zero so this substitution is a bit simpler so that's why we are integrating this so that's what we do we integrate this and we see c is zero because at y is equal to zero x dot is equal to zero so we put the value of x dot here and we get y double dot is equal to minus a by m into a by m y which is an equation of shm with omega as a by m so the particle is performing shm and it starts here at its equilibrium position so our equation is simply y is equal to a sin omega t because we can see from this equation that this is just a term of y which means y is equal to 0 is the equilibrium position so it's crossing the equilibrium position with v not at t is equal to 0 so when since it is t since it's crossing at t is equal to 0 our equation is y is equal to a sin omega t you can see in the phasor form also so this is the y axis so initially the particle is here it's going up so y will be a sin omega t so if it goes up by an angle omega t the position of y will be a sin omega t now what will be the value of amplitude so the maximum velocity is v naught and we know v naught is omega a so amplitude will be v naught by w omega so y becomes v naught by omega sin omega t so here omega is a by m now we have got y so let's put this equation in our first equation so we get x dot is equal to a by m into y so y is v naught by w omega sin omega t and we know a by m is the omega so this gets cancelled so x dot comes to be v naught a v naught sin omega t so then we integrate and we get x is equal to minus v naught cos omega t by omega plus c so again we'll put the boundary condition so at t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 that means c is equal to v naught by omega so we put that and we get x is equal to v naught by omega 1 minus cos omega t so we can see this from the phase diagram also so the particle is here at uh, t is equal to 0 and then it's going like this so it's an it's at left end so x will be v naught by omega 1 minus cos omega t so it x will vary from 0 to twice of v naught by omega 
so we have got x and y in terms of time so trajectory for trajectory we simply need to eliminate time so this is x and y so we just eliminate t from both of them by squaring and adding so that we get term of sine square omega t plus cos square omega t so we do that and we get this so this you can see is an equation of circle so the particle will travel in a circle with radius v0 by omega and its velocity so its initial velocity is v0 so that will be its velocity which should be a constant all right